This is CONCACAF Video Signals, a Tuesday, March 31st edition. Today on Video Signals, Match Day 3 of World Cup qualifying in CONCACAF is tomorrow. We'll preview the USA and Trinidad and Tobago. Let's go on a trip around the Confederation and finish the show, as always, with the CONCACAF Quiz. We start with the final round of CONCACAF World Cup qualifying, Match Day 3. Tomorrow, another round of three vital games will keep fans around the region glued to their televisions, radios, and computers. In San Jose, Costa Rica welcomes El Salvador to the Estadio Ricardo Saprissa. Mexico travels to San Pedro Sula, the site of their 1-0 defeat last November, to face Honduras once again. In the other game, the USA hosts Trinidad and Tobago at LP Field in Nashville, Tennessee, and that is where we will have our second match day three preview. This will be the 13th all-time meeting between the two rivals in qualifying. The USA holds a 9-2-1 advantage, scoring 17 goals while conceding only 5. They last met in a WCQ on October 15th of last year, a 2-1 win for Trinidad and Tobago at Port of Spain against a weakened U.S. squad. The Americans have never lost to Trinidad at home in a qualifier and have conceded only one goal. The USA has an impressive 8-1-1 overall tournament record and is currently in first place in the final round. They have scored 27 goals and allowed only 5. On Saturday, the U.S. came back from two down to earn a tie at El Salvador thanks to goals from Josie Altador and Frankie Hayduck. The Americans are a perfect 5-0-0 at home where they average more than 4 goals per game and will be buoyed by the return of Everton goalkeeper Tim Howard who served a one-match suspension against El Salvador. Landon Donovan, the USA's all-time leader in goals, is one goal shy of tying Brian McBride's mark for the most career goals in World Cup qualifying for the U.S. with 10. Trinidad's tournament record stands at 4-4-2. They've scored 15 goals and gave up 11. They share fourth place with El Salvador. The Soka Warriors came from behind to tie Honduras in Port of Spain on Saturday thanks to a late goal by Kaleem Highland. TNT has two wins, two ties, and one loss in five away WCQs, scoring seven goals while conceding six. Captain Dwight York will be serving the second game of a two-match suspension against the USA. Tomorrow, Video Signals will preview Honduras and Mexico. In news from around the Confederation, Panama will host Haiti today in a friendly at the recently renovated Estadio Agustin Muquita Sanchez in La Chorrera, Panama. Both teams are preparing for the CONCACAF Gold Cup in July. In Panama's last friendly, they lost at Trinidad and Tobago 1-0 on March 18th, their first match since winning the UNCAF Nations Cup earlier this year. Canada's men's U-17 team is in Costa Rica for a nine-day camp and will play the host U-18 team today in San Jose. They will also take on the Costa Rican U-17 squad on April 2nd and 4th. A player to watch for the Maple Leafs is midfielder Russell Tebert of the Vancouver Whitecaps, who scored for Canada in a 5-2 victory over the United States in February. And that completes our brief trip around the Confederation. Now it is time for today's CONCACAF quiz. Yesterday, we asked if you could guess the name of the player who scored both El Salvador goals the last time they scored against the United States in 1997 prior to their 2-2 tie this past Saturday. Our thanks to everyone who sent in a response. The correct answer is Raul Diaz Arce, a great CONCACAF player who enjoyed a fine club career in both El Salvador and the United States. Today's question takes us to the Honduran national team. On June 20th, 2001, Honduras defeated Mexico 3-1 in a World Cup qualifier at San Pedro Sula. One player scored all three Honduran goals that day. Can you name him? If you think you know the answer, please send an email to videosignals at concacaf.org before 12 p.m. New York time tomorrow. Those answering correctly will have their names placed into a weekly contest where the winner will receive a CONCACAF prize. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for joining us at Video Signals, your source for CONCACAF news.